me most of these off my first stage set. And why I ate? Why I ate? going to be a day in the life and <clears throat> you guys should already know what's going on if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button okay i'm gonna be back on youtube posting more and more and more so you guys need to hit that subscribe button but today's video is going to be a day in the life right now i am on my way to class i have two classes today and a lab and today is going to be my last lab i'm so excited because i have a three hour lab on thursday evening and i just hate it and i'm just so excited to not have that lab anymore because the club is getting more and more busier and i'm trying to be there more and like the fact that my lab ends uh, at like six o'clock on Thursday, it means I can't go to my club and get like free house fee at um, six o'clock like I usually would. So today's plan is go to class. Um, I have a little break between two and 2.30 before my lab. So I'm probably gonna get something to eat. Right now I'm really, really craving Chipotle. So I'll probably go to Chipotle like right um before i go to my lab and i have one lab quiz and then we're done like i literally cannot wait you guys so i have two more weeks of school after this week and then my birthday is in finals week and you guys i'm gonna be a grown woman i'm so tired of not being able to do all the stuff i want to do but y'all this birthday is gonna be so lit after my birthday i have a lot of plans i'm gonna show you guys like you guys will see you guys will see i don't want to say too much because i have been plotting lately i've been plotting lately and i'm not done with this youtube stuff you guys like for a minute i was like should i quit youtube should i keep doing youtube no you guys i am not i am in this you guys so right so today's plan go to class after i go to class i need to get my nails done because my toes are messed up right now i had like french press on toes and they were super cute for like the first week but now they're all chipped and everything and i haven't been to work since saturday because um sunday was sunday was easter and that was a really really slow weekend so this weekend hopefully should be better um what else what else what else um so after i get my nails done i want to go to the dance store because i just really want like a mesh fishnet outfit and i just feel like that would look really really cute on me so i'm gonna do that and one more thing i have to do is i'm probably gonna go um shop for a couple things for my apartment i'm probably gonna make it to work about like nine or ten tonight i'm not going for free house fee 
but I do want to get some stuff from my apartment so hopefully I could do that today and vlog that for you guys and yeah it's gonna be a little day in the life so if you're not already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button like how many times so I have to tell you we're lit over here like period so yeah you guys basically gonna take you guys on my day with me I'm trying to see if I have any other like talking points. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about my channel a little bit. So I've been like trying to like experiment with like different types of videos on here. Um, Some videos you guys like, some videos you guys not so much. I'm not gonna like stop doing my stripper vlogs and I'm not gonna stop doing my channel the way it is but I feel like I show you guys like more of my personal life than in the strip club life which right now dancing in Vegas like I care about my club rules and we're not allowed to have cameras on the floor in my club so I'm not gonna record in the club because I don't want to lose my job but when school is over when I start back travel dancing I feel like I can record everything for you guys because then I won't really care because I don't work there anyway so what are, am I gonna do if they fire me like I'll just go find another club you know when I'm like out of state and stuff but yeah this is like my last semester this is gonna be like my last real semester before it's time for me to apply to nursing school um because I was in pre-med for like two years and then I dropped out and then I went back to school and then I dropped out again so now I'm like it's just been a lot you guys but I really love the way that my life is going lately I'm really trying to manifest the life that I want for myself which is why I'm trying to like do my apartment like finish decorating because my apartment is I would say 85% done I just need a TV stand I need some plants and just a couple things I want to get to add those finishing touches so I can give you guys my apartment tour which is also crazy because I'm gonna start looking for new apartments really soon and I'm gonna make like um touring an apartment like an apartment tour vlog like touring like luxury apartments touring like different loft apartments so yeah I'm moving in like two months and I still haven't made an apartment tour and I can't believe I've been living where I've been living for almost a year I can't believe I've been in Vegas for a year but I'm gonna put you guys on to some tea because I want to make a video about like you know Vegas dancing in Vegas how I basically how I leveled up how I got my money up and I'm still like a work in progress but like I have come such a long way like I remember slow months dancing in Texas I wouldn't even make like 2k dancing I was making way more money in the club than I was ever making on YouTube and I would go to the club and see the same girls with BBL making all their money off the same guys and I just never felt like it was fair but dancing in Vegas has like really like been a game changer for my life dancing in Vegas literally changed my life the fact that I could think of wanting to buy something and I could probably afford it is crazy to me but I still have like kind of the same mindset as I did whenever I was not making any money because I've been really cheap and I skimp out on a lot of stuff and um, I'm trying not to be that way anymore because I want to manifest more in my life. I'm not going to be able to manifest if I'm not like focused on basically living a life of abundance. So I'm manifesting the life I want and I've been seeing a lot of black girl luxury, black girl rich black girl tiktok and um what else soft life like living like a peaceful like stress-free life or whatever and it's just been screaming my name so i really want my channel to be like strip half stripper content and half like lifestyle content i really really been leaning towards like the lifestyle content lately but one thing i do feel like is i feel like a lot of my viewers who used to watch my channel 
a year ago, a year and a half ago when I first started doing YouTube, it's kind of shifted. So I'm also trying to think about like how I can shift my con my content to like match what I want. And I've pretty much realized that I'm my own target audience and that whoever's like meant to find my channel is going to find my channel. And I don't want people who don't want to be on my channel anyways because they're not going to interact with my content. So I'm just going to make the videos that I feel like making. I went off on a tangent. I literally can't remember what I was talking about, but I think I was saying something about how Vegas has been like a real game changer for me. So yeah, I really want to make like a video on like how I leveled up my life and everything, but I still feel like I need to make some finishing touches and level up my life a little bit more before I start telling other people how to do that, you know? So yeah, that was my little rant of the day. Um, yeah, I will see you guys later. I'm almost at school, so yeah, bye y'all. Y'all, I cannot believe I just paid $130 to have eight braids put in my hair, but it's okay because at least my hair will not be crazy underneath my wigs, and I don't like taking care of my hair. I don't like washing it. I don't like detangling it. So I guess for the convenience of having someone else to do it, uh, I'm not even gonna get irritated. That should not even have been $100, but you know what? I'm not tripping about it. I'm just glad that I ended up getting my hair done because I'm tired of looking crazy. So I need to get my eyebrows done. I don't know if I'm going to do this in the next vlog or in tomorrow's vlog. But right now I'm at the dancewear store because I need some new outfits. Um, I want like a really cute like fishnet outfit. So I'm going to go in and take you guys with me. And we're going to we're going to buy something. We're going to see what we're going to get. But yeah, these are my braids. I mean, she did like, she did an okay job, but $130? No. And I told her like, oh, can you wash my hair? And she was like, oh, that's extra. And I was like, how much extra? She was like, $15. I was like, okay, so are you really tripping about $15? Honestly, that was not really like a good experience. Um, probably would not go back there. But yeah, I'm about to take you guys into the dance store with me because that was a mess, child. And I need get, get to get my nails done and my toes done. So yeah. Oh, oh. 
I did my lashes different today. I try to like glue my lashes like underneath my actual eyelash. I don't know if it's working for me. I don't really like how my makeup looks today. But on the other hand, I love my outfit today. And today is actually not bad. I got here at one and I think I made my goal. So I'm not really gonna complain. Tonight was kind of okay. I'll do money count later. But yeah, I got here at one. I was here for about four hours. I'm about to leave right now. And yeah, I don't really know what else to say. I've been working at the same club for like a year. I feel like my super vlogs are just like really repetitive right now. But yeah, basically I've been here and I'm about to leave. I don't know how I feel about my lashes. I think I kind of look crazy, but maybe I'm just still getting used to them. but I'm kind of growing out of my super long lashes face. Also, I got my nails done and I didn't show you guys. I'm not super in love with my nails, but I know that they're gonna look better as they grow out over the next like month or so. They're not gonna look crazy when they grow out. They're actually gonna look better. So yeah, that's my update of the night. I do money count later. I'll show you guys what I made on stage because why my first stage set, I ate. I ate. Like, why my first stage set, I killed that shit, I ate, like, I should've got here earlier, because tonight has been a good night for me, but I feel like this weekend is about to be a great, great, great weekend. My guesstimate for how much I made tonight is five, but we're gonna count later. So right now I'm about to leave, I'm about to clock out, and I'll see you guys later. Y'all, so this are all the singles I came home with. And why I made most of these off my first stage set? And why I ate? Why I ate? My first stage set was so good, you guys. Everybody in the whole club was hyping me up. I just love it when that happens because it really makes me feel like that girl. But these are all the singles I made. I did get Zeld, just a little tip. And then I did a couple dances on a credit card, and I will show you guys later for total money count. But I'm going to count my money on the table so you guys can get a better view of everything and me. And I basically can talk to you guys. Hey, you guys. So please ignore my messy living room. Please ignore my TV on the floor. I need an 85-inch TV stand, and I need a man to help me carry my TV because that shit is too heavy for me and my girls to carry. So until I find a man, my TV is gonna be on the floor. Anyways, you guys, this is how my night went. I'm sorry if it's kind of loud in the background. I live by the strip of Las Vegas. So hopefully you guys can hear me. If you can't, just turn the volume up. But this is how my Thursday night went. Honestly, not super bad for a Thursday. I mean, fuck, I'm not even gonna sit here and lie to you guys. This was like a pretty good night. Especially after last week. <sighs> last week was so bad for me. I only made money on Saturday last week. I literally made like barely anything on Friday. Saturday was like the only decent like night I had last week. But yeah, I have a new system of counting my money. So we're gonna do a money count for you guys. First off, I have these little like clear rubber bands. Don't know if you guys can see. But these are what I used to count my money now. And I'll count stacks of 20 and then I'll rubber band it. And I just feel like it makes it easier for me to count, not lose track. And I know it's organized in 20. So if I ever want to count out like a certain amount of my singles, boom, like it's really easy instead of just breaking it down into hundreds. So I'm gonna count 20 for you guys. And then at the end, I'm gonna count 
everything and I'm just gonna talk to you guys about I don't know where I've been lately so yeah I'm so excited for it to be summertime you guys hopefully my subscribers still like me at this point because I have not been giving y'all content like I feel like I should so I'm trying to make a comeback with the content you guys but the reason why it matters so much that it's summertime is because I finally get to travel. Like I'm done with school for the semester and I'm gonna be outside. Ah, I'm outside. So I literally wanna travel like as many places as I can. I wanna go to as many clubs in Vegas as I can. I've really been comfortable like staying at my home club since I moved to Vegas, but I'm about to expand. But hopefully I can give you guys some good behind the scenes content, some good, you know, pole content, some good stage work. Yeah, things are really looking up for the summer, so. You guys have to promise me that you're gonna like the video, watch the video, engage with the video, and also comment down below, share the video, everything you guys, because I really need the YouTube algorithm to start loving me again so that when I make these videos, you guys can find them. So please, please, please make sure you leave a big thumbs up because it honestly makes a huge difference. So yeah. Comment down below how much you guys think this is. And I'm actually super excited because I heard that this weekend is gonna be great. It's gonna be packed, it's gonna be busy, it's gonna be popping. Like basically everything that last weekend was missing, the girls are saying that this weekend is gonna give. Noticed. So my advice for the black chocolate whirlies like myself dancing out here in Vegas is to go audition at that club, that gentleman's club, that white club that you don't think that you're gonna get hired at. Yeah, that one, go audition there. Cause that's where you're gonna make the most money. Like I ain't even gonna lie. And a lot of people um, ask me also like how to deal with colorism in the dancer industry, um, how to basically just how to deal with it, how to get hired at certain places, how does it affect like how much money you make, et cetera, et cetera. And honestly, I don't like letting the fact that I'm dark skinned, I don't like letting that stop my bag. And I will never let it stop my bag. Cause guess what? The same guys out there, oh, I like white girls, I like blonde girls. They're thinking to themselves, oh, I love black girls, I love chocolate girls. I've never even like been like really like close with like a black girl before. Like a lot of these like white dudes are from like Utah, from Ohio, from Idaho, like stuff like that. They don't have no chocolate in their life. So go work at that white club. This is this is a sign for that girl who was scared. Go work at that club and turn that place out, okay? What I've noticed at my club at least is a white girl will go on stage, she'll do her little dance, pour some sugar on me in the name of love. And then she'll do all right. And then the next girl will go on stage, a black girl, and she'll put on some lit music. And now everyone in the club is hype and she'll probably make a lot of money on that stage set. And then the next girl will come on stage and it's like, oh, we're halfway there. Oh, living on a prayer. So if you know what I mean, like that's my best way of explaining it to you guys. Basically every black girl who I know that dance out here in Vegas, who works at a white, a predominantly white gentleman's club, always, always, always has amazing stage performances and amazing stage presence. And a lot of the, these girls out here in Vegas, they do the little like GTA stripper like dance thing. So if you come and you can really put on a show, you're really guaranteed to make money. And managers love a girl, love a girl who puts on a show. 
so you're more likely to get hired too. I genuinely believe that I got hired in Vegas from my poll tricks because, so my club doesn't do walk-in auditions. You have to send in your photos and I did send in my photos, which they chose my photos and then emailed me back to schedule an audition, right? But when it came to my audition, I just went crazy with the poll tricks because in my experience, like poll tricks, whenever they allow you to do them during your audition, because some clubs don't, but whenever a club allows you to do poll tricks during your audition, always put on a show because they're gonna hire you because they know you're a pro, they know you're serious, they know you're about your money, they know you've taken classes, they know you've invested years and years into dancing and it's, job, it's not just like something that you're just gonna do and come back you know, on the weekends. Like they really love a good girl who puts on a show. My club has this featured performer dancer now. And she does roller skates. And I just think that it's so awesome because she'll be like skating around the pole and like with fire in her hands. Like she has like these fire like tiki torches. That reminds me of like this club in Miami. I'm not sure if it's Tootsie's or it's um, Vixen's. I think that, I can't remember what it's called, but they do like fire tricks. So this girl literally will spin around the pole like in roller skates holding her little torch fire. And then she'll like breathe the fire y'all. And then she'll fucking like her titties on fire like that shit is crazy you guys so when i saw her i was like yeah i need to step i need to step my performance levels up way more way more way more like i just need to act that nobody can beat once i learn once I start taking my pole classes every day, like I'm supposed to, but I haven't been doing, it's over for, for all of the girls. It's over for all of the girls, period. But yeah, I wanna learn polar skating. That's what I, it's called, I believe. Polar skating. And I wanna learn more acrobatics and handstands and stuff like that. I really want to like dedicate time into my craft for real. Not that I haven't dedicated time, but I feel like Vegas is just one of the most competitive places that you could possibly ever dance at. And I wouldn't even say LA is as competitive as Vegas because I mean, I haven't danced out there, but from what I've heard from the girls who dance in LA, um, the clubs take like a ridiculously large amount of what you make. So I know a lot of girls who live in LA and dance in Vegas. Like Venus, Venus lives in LA and she dances in Vegas. And I guess she used to dance in LA, but she didn't like how you have to be an employee and everything and da 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 da. But I still do want to go dance out in LA this summer. So. I saw this club called Cheetahs in Hollywood. And honestly, if I go to LA, I really, really, really would want to work at Cheetahs. Like, really. That is where I would want to go dance at. And for any girl coming to Vegas, if you want to dance in Vegas, go audition at Sapphires. Stop asking me what club I work at because I don't work at the best club in Vegas. Y'all want to know what the best club in Vegas is? Sapphires. But yeah, this has been a long money count we are almost done and then i need to go start my day today i'm trying to go a little bit furniture shopping um i need a wax um i think i was gonna get my eyebrows done too maybe probably cook something good um a lot of stuff on my to-do list today but I'm not gonna put it in this vlog because I feel like making like four day in the life videos back to back for you guys just because I haven't been on YouTube that much. So I wanna post a little bit just to remind you guys that I exist, you know? And remind YouTube algorithm that I exist. Take this as your sign if you've been thinking about moving, traveling, going somewhere else to dance. 
then this should be your sign because if you're not making money at your club, it's probably not you and it's probably just the club. But yeah, you guys, that is the end of my money count. I'm gonna count how much I made now out of all these 20s that I've counted out. And that will be the end of the vlog. So, this is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280. Plus, I made $300 off of dances. Plus, I got zelled about $50 just for a tip for talking to this guy. So in total, I think I've made $630 after tip out. I did tip out like $50, so I made around $700 and $630 after tip out. So I am not complaining, you guys. Not bad for Thursday. I mean, this Thursday was way better than last Friday. To put things into perspective, I usually make double on a Friday what I would make on a Thursday, but this Thursday was actually better. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you did, please leave me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.